always stated that he put in about 35 years of his age in trying to fight for Nigeria's independence. And it didn't matter to him whether it was him or Chief Awolowo or Sadan of Sokoto who I will emerge as the Prime Minister. And of course, when that happened in 1960, Nigeria became independent and he became the first indigenous governor general. Of course, that lasted for three years before we had the Westminster style of uh, you know, government, which of course had him as the titular head of state or president and uh, Tafua Belewa as the prime minister. So some of these things continue on until we had the first military coup in 1966. This, this plagued Nigeria until when we had the first democratically elected president in 1979. So some of these teaching problems remained in Nigeria and became endemic. And of course, rem remember that Nigeria is a multinational country, of course, with over 250 ethnic groups and over 500 languages. It is difficult for people to cohabit you know, without any problem whatsoever. But despite all these difficulties, Nigeria continued to coast along these difficulties. Of course, the issue of who was allochthonous and who was autochthonous came into being. Of course, the issue of ethnocentric Nigerians you know, came to play. But of course, Nigeria is a country that is very, very resilient in all its activities. And we know that with all these difficulties, Nigeria has come, in, uh, come out without any known problem, except for the civil war we had in 1970 to 70, which lasted for 30 months. But after that, Nigeria became stronger. But I will not say that these problems have not you know, persisted. They have persisted, but remember, there's no country that can have the kind of diversity Nigeria has and still remain as a country. But despite that, we continue to remain as a country. So I give kudos to Nigeria and Nigerians for this very feat. To Nigeria and Nigerians for this very feat. Nigeria and Nigerians. Right, okay. Um, uh, yeah, 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 you know, we started off this discussion here in Abuja talking about um, unity in diversity. What fires Nigerians when they're outside the country? What happens when they're in the country? Um, here you heard one of our guests say there's need for a conversation. And people have said, oh, we've had so many conversations in the past. Is there no end to conversations? Within all the conversations, the conferences that have been held, would it be that um, the real issues have not been brought out? Yes, really. In fact, let me put it in perspective. There's no country that has no problem. Even the United States, one of the oldest democracies, has its own problems. Even right now, as the uh, president of the United States has the coronavirus and his wife also is afflicted with the same coronavirus. We have issues that has plagued, you know, that have plagued the, the, the democracy of the United States and even the uh, entire election process. So what I would say in a nutshell is that with Nigeria and its problems, it is not particular to Nigeria. But I think we continue to discuss. That is why even the Constitution of the United States continues to have amendments. So there's nothing wrong in Nigerian constitution having amendments because amendments are just procedural changes, you know, that are attached as addendum to normal constitution. So if Nigeria continues to emerge with this diversity in culture, customs, and the tradition, with all these uh, attendant problems, there's always need to discuss so that we can understand ourselves better. Because there's always one saying: "Be closer to your enemies than your friends." That way, we will uh, eliminate enmity completely. So issue of discussion should be on the table all the time. On the table all the time. So, uh, Professor Jehu Onyekwere Naji, uh, who joined us from Enugu. Yes, we wanted to link up with uh, uh, Professor Umara from Maiduguri, but, uh, uh, you know, we, we had uh, Professor Onyekwere Naji from Enugu join us. So it's okay. Um, uh, Professor Umara will still join us from our Maiduguri studio, but uh, this conversation is still within the realms of 60 years of Nigeria's independence and why uh, the country has remained together and is staying together despite all the numerous challenges, things that have threatened the very fabric of uh, the country's existence. There has to be something there. Yeah, there has to be something there. It's like when you are married to your wife and then you had three or four kids and then you realize that you're not compatible, but you have to stay together for the sake of those kids. <laughs> it makes me very much like that. Um, we, it's not that we are not compatible, but it, the, the thing is we refuse to acknowledge those differences as a necessity in life. When you come together with someone, you have to have those differences, even if you are identical twins. Acknowledge them, then move on. And because we have refused to do that, and uh, I keep repeating the conversation as if that is the... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to come in form of a conference at individual levels. We have to...